Hi, we're here today talking to Hari Cedar of Strata. So tell us a little bit about your startup story. Strata Audio is a, a young company. We started out early in 2010. Mm -hmm. The company is founded by a bunch of audio geeks, uh, very good audio engineers, artists, mm -hmm. uh, manufacturing experts, mm -hmm. uh, just enthusiasts who want to bring exciting products to people and bring fun to their life. How did you find each other? Actually, it's interesting. We all were working together as a team uh, mm -hmm. since 99. Mm -hmm. So we all knew each other for 12 years and um, you know, a pretty good team. And uh, we worked at a major, uh, one of the big audio brands, uh, big audio company. And what we found is, you know, life was good, it was all fun, but um, uh, we realized we were becoming a cog in the big system. And the big company was not interested in doing innovation and taking it to the next level. And we saw, you know, the lifestyles are uh, evolving uh, to be a more mobile lifestyle and things are becoming smaller and miniaturized. So people listen to music differently, you know, and there's a lot of multimedia going on on netbooks, notebooks, your know, thin TVs, and these devices do not have enough real estate anymore uh, to have good speakers. So we thought, you know, something needs to be done there. And we have developed very small, tiny speakers that provide full range audio from small speakers. So what you're gonna experience with our technology is full range sound from small speakers. Fabulous. So, About how small is the smallest device? I mean, are we talking like the size of a quarter, or the size of a dime? Yeah, or? actually, that's a good analogy. Uh, actually, uh, five stacks of penny is the smallest speaker we've got. And, you know, uh, a speaker of the size of a golf ball is the big one. Wow. And so in between these two, we have a lineup of four drivers. And with these four speakers, basically, you can empower anything between a 10-inch netbook to a 60-inch TV. Wow. And uh, very good premium sound. Okay, so what's the most interesting device that your speakers have been used in? So we're talking to uh, the major TV manufacturers and computer manufacturers, and um, you know they're very impressed with what they see. Great. Yeah. So tell us something about the biggest mistake you made and what you learned from that. Yeah, so I personally think we took a little too long in uh, finalizing some of the details before you know kickstarting the game, mm -hmm. and we were just you know too worried about making it all perfect, and uh, you know before we start playing, uh, this is what we've learned: time is of essence. Mm -hmm. um, so start up. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't need to be perfect. Uh, you need to be confident about your you know uh, technology, about the quality of your product, and then you can always improvise. As a startup, you got to move fast. Great. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time.